Bad news. Former champion Cuban boxer your Dennis Ugas says he doesn't even know who Alexis Rocha is. Potential opponent for Terrence Crawford next. That's what I want to talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego in the back with some more boxing gang. So, your Dennis Ugas verified page on Twitter. He says, this is without disrespect and excuse the question, but who is Rocha? What record do you have? Question mark. And then he's responding to someone that says, are you crazy or what? You cannot ask a question with respect. How quickly mockery and offenses come. What occurs sometimes. So he's basically saying, I'm being cool. I really don't know who this dude is. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm not trying to throw shade or anything. I don't know who he is. That's how I interpret it. Right. And he also put this in Spanish. He says, I have never seen Rocha fight. I did not know him, but that doesn't mean I'm disrespecting you. It's good that you met me after the fight. I already know him. It's nothing bad greetings. So he's saying again, I'm not trying to violate. I just don't know who he, I wasn't familiar with him. So this could be Crawford's next opponent. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section of a fight. I've already stated my opinion. Another tough sale. Crawford, the only thing I've ever questioned is Crawford's business acumen is business savvy. If he signs with Golden Boy, which is the potential rumor, if he fights Alexis Rocha next, it does him no favors. I don't know how else to put it. I don't know any clearer. I don't think I could use any more specifics than what I am telling you right now. It does him no favors. If people are holding hope for Errol Spence, then you can kind of forget about it if he does a multi-fight deal from my perspective. That's my honest opinion because how does making the decision to fight Alexis Rocha and or if he signs a multi-fight deal with Golden Boy bring him any closer to a completely opposite and different who at times have had um, a relationship that was frayed between, and I'm talking about Golden Boy and PBC, if you sign to, you're basically signing to the ops, expecting to get a fight with Errol Spence and Charlo and whoever else. It just, that doesn't make sense. If, if you're a crackhead, you have to go to the sides of town where they sell crack or you go to a trap house or whatever. The rules are very simple. If you're looking for dope, you go to a trap house. You go to a drug dealer. It's that simple. If Crawford wants to fight Charlo, Jamel Charlo, if he wants to fight Errol Spence, you go where the action is at, unless you're in some kind of Canelo type of position where you have the car blanche to do whatever you want and you have all these numbers and impre impressive accolades financially and fiscally when, when it comes to like pay-per-view, like where I'm like, uh, I sold a million. I, what did Jay say? My uncle said, I said, never sell a million records. I sold a million records like a million times. Right. If you, if you sold a million records a million times, OK, you got some leverage, you got some pool. Crawford is like saying stuff like I have an SP. So therefore, you know, I got the clout or I got the juice now. You know what I mean? And it doesn't work like that. The SP, that's just something that people vote for. That doesn't give you leverage when it, when it comes to someone who has outsold you, has a better resume. Errol Spence, Jermail Charlo. Someone who's fought the top guys in their division outside of you. You know what I mean? Someone who's been on pay-per-view and done higher numbers. So it's just, it's crazy. We'll see where this turns up. But you got a former champion who beat Manny Pacquiao, the guy that eluded Crawford for years that Crawford wanted to fight. He said he wanted to fight Pacquiao, never got it. Errol Spence got it, got injured, had to pull out. And then Ugas got it, beat Pacquiao. And he's saying he don't even know a guy in his same weight class. Like, I can understand if if Ugas didn't know a cruiserweight, like Murat Gassiev or something, that would make a little bit more sense because it's like, if you're a welterweight, you don't necessarily need to be checking that cruiserweight, so you're not going to know all the players. But we're talking about a former champion who was just former, by former, I mean just last April or May when he fought Errol Spence, he was a champion entering that fight. So just last year, he was a champion. And there's a guy who is in your same weight class. And Ugas seems like a good dude. He seems like a nice dude. So he's telling you, I'm not trying to be rude or funny style or, or violate. I don't know who Alexis Rocha is. So 
again, you're talking about a welterweight in his weight category, and he don't even know who the man is. So if a fighter who would probably, like if you ask other teams in the same conference as Kobe Bryant, who Kobe Bryant was when he was up and coming, they would know who he is because you're checking for it. You're like, oh, we're going to have to play against him. We're going to have to play against that monster, the Black Mamba, right? So you're usually checking and you got people on your radar if, they, if they're hot, right? That's That becomes your competitor, your, your contemporary, if you will. So for Ugas to just have been a champion and he said, you don't even know this dude, never seen him fight. I mean then what do you think the fans are going to, especially like more casual fans, they're not going to necessarily know and want to get behind the fight. But we'll see how this plays out. We'll see what Crawford decides. I'll leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hybrid Nation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.